Welcome to the another lecture of uh, digital design with Verilog course and in this lecture we will start with uh, sequential logic design and mostly we will cover latches and flip flop and outline of the uh, just today lecture is uh, we will discuss about uh, combinational and sequential logic design, design of a circuit that store one bit which is particularly we will uh, discuss about uh, RS latch then how to stabilize the latch, how to stabilize the B storage we will discuss about uh, stabilizing RS latch particularly level sensitive latch then uh, we will discuss about clock latch which is called flip flop and in general flip flop works with actually uh, edge sensitive uh, storage and in this context we will discuss about uh, D flip flop, JK flip flop and toggle flip flops and after that uh, we will possibly if possible in this class we will discuss about uh, characteristic question of the RS flip flop, JK flip flop, uh, T flip flop and D flip flops. What is the difference between the combinational and sequential logic design? So, combinational circuit particularly output depend on only present input. So, for examples full adder, half adder, multiplexer, decoder, adder, priority encoder these are the circuits where output only depend on present input. But in sequential circuit the basic difference is uh, output not only depend on present input but the state or history of inputs or previous inputs. So, in this uh, uh, example so here in this combinational circuit there are two input a and b and output y is equal to function of a and b and output comes after some propagation delay but still the output is it depend upon only a and b this is present input. So, a at time t and b at time t and output comes at time uh, t plus t period after some propagation delay, but still output depend on mostly present input. But in sequential circuits, so output depends not on just present input, but also on past sequence of input or in other way what are the sequence of past input are given. So, based on that current output will depend somehow it store the states or somehow it depend on states. So, it store bits it is known as states and sequential circuit have some states and we can picturically we can represent like this. So, somehow uh, the sequential circuits so it take input a and b it take input a and b and in sequence of the output it depend upon not only the present input, but the sequence of previous input or some states of the sequential circuits. And to determine the output we must know the sequence of past input to know the output, because uh, the name suggests sequential logic means past of sequence of input need to be known or somehow captured in the states. So, Mathematically what we can write is uh, y t equal to function of uh, y t is equal to function of f a t b t and h and this h represent either we can say history or sequence or state. So, uh, sequence circuit it depend upon uh, present input also on state and logically what you can say. So, because uh, it store the history, what to store the history? So, somehow to store the history or state we require some memory elements, some memory elements y is equal to function of a t, b t, a at time t, b at time t and some history or state of sequence and logically we can say if you design any circuit then uh, it depend upon input a and b also it depend upon some history or sequence or states and output it need to combine both input also history. So, in this diagram so there are two state bit s 0 and s 1 and two input a and b. So, it is combinational logic combined not only the input, but also the history or state and from that it generate the output. So, y is equal to actually function of f a t b t and states 
and how to store a bit how to store a bit so let's look at the standard mechanical storage states so many people knows the what is the uh, standard pen so i am showing two pen so one pen is uh, with this uh, this have actually two either it can on and off but this one is rotating one but uh, this have actually only one mechanical storage just like a uh, logical switches or electrical switches if you switch on then we don't have options that uh, it can stay but uh, if you suppose it is one then if you press like one again it will stay in one but uh, we don't have options uh, whenever you rotate it cannot rotate back only you need to means uh, rotate front but it can rotate back so this is a mechanical switch another pen i am showing this is similar to shown in picture so that is actually retractable pen so retractable pen means whenever you press it will switch on and if you press one more time then it will uh, retract back so it is actually toggle switches so every time you do so it struggle the states so once zero then one then again zero then again one kind of uh, it struggle the switches this is the how it store the bit this is a example of a, a retractable pen so it is a mechanical storage of states so pressing result it toggle so on if it is off and off if it is on so that is the way means it do and it store the state mechanically and uh, in general uh, inside the pen so there is a circular wheel saw type rotate each press and alternate pattern of one height is low other height is uh, high so one height is low and other height is whenever you press sometimes it uh, go into the lower height and another time it go to higher height so based on the rotating saw type wheel so it's uh, create the states this is from the mechanical uh, bit storage but uh, we looked at how we can develop a storage element in electronic circuits so we need a bit storage so let's take another example suppose flight and attendant call buttons so whenever we call the press button um, press the call buttons so lights stay on so the turn on lights stay on after the button is released so that means so whenever you press the buttons it switch on the lights and whenever you release the button it should the light should stay on and whenever you press a cancel button light should turn off so that is the uh, we need a bit storage in that way it should work so this is the example of uh, flight attendant call buttons so how to design these circuits so let's see means uh, what is the means uh, picturically how it looks like so whenever you press the call buttons so this is uh, pressing the call buttons so whenever you press the call buttons it should switch on the light so blue light is switched on and whenever you release the call button so the, now this second step is uh, releasing the call buttons whenever you release the call buttons so it should light should stay on so first case call button pressed light turned on we release the call buttons lights stay on first one is light turned on second one is light stay on okay and whenever we press cancel buttons then light should turn off cancel button pressed means it should turn off the lights so suppose you want to design a one bit storage which perform like this then how to design a one bit storage so how electronically what kind of electronic circuits we require to store a bit flight attendant call buttons press call light turn on stay on after button is released this is the requirement so it need to store press cancel that means light should turn off so how to design so what kind of logic get we require to implement this suppose you have already means studied the combinational part of the digital design then can the combinational circuit works so the answer will be simply no so let's try so let's try with the basic uh, or get whether it will work or not so first line is uh, this line is suppose uh, call uh, button and this line is cancel buttons and q is the light and definitely this circuit will not work when q is equal to 1 
one call is equal to one. So one call is equal to one. So q one call is equal to one. Suppose one of the whenever you press the buttons, then q will be one. And whenever you release the button, so the q don't stay at one. One call this call button returns. Return means you release the call buttons. It's return zero. That means uh, light gets switched off. So that is not our required thing. So need some form of feedback in the circuits because this simple combinational circuit is not working. Simple OR gate is not working. We require some kind of feedback. So we need to some sort of uh, feedback. Require some sort of feedback. Let's do a first attempt. So does the circuits do what we want? So let's the circuit is uh, like this. So Q is uh, this output is now feedback to the uh, second input of means OR gate to T, and this also don't work. Suppose you this is a call button. So whenever you press the call buttons, so lights so the Q equal to one because this is OR gate Q become one. But whenever Q become one, there is no way you can revert back to zero output to zero. So once Q become one, one S is equal to one, Q stay at 1 forever no value of s can bring q back to 0 that means uh, this is a failed design so even if with feedback or gets is not working so this is a detailed uh, example so whenever you s is equal to 0 so and t is equal to initially t is equal to 0 and uh, q become q is 0 whenever you press the call button or s is equal to 1 then this s uh, goes to this s goes to q and uh, it make q is equal to 1 and so once q is equal to 1 because this q is fed back as t now q stay at 1 forever so this is q once q is equal to 1 now this one will continue you can see so this is t values this is initially t whenever s is equal to press then Q value got 1 because of this thing, because of this thing Q value got 1 and because of this Q, Q is equal to 1. Now T become 1, as T become 1 and Q become 1, it is continue to be 1, then this Q continue to be 1. So there is no way we can change the value of Q output. That means in this circuit, if we press the call button, light will be switched on, but no way you can switch up the light. So, is there any other way to design? Yeah. So, let us look at bit storage using a SR latch. So, with uh, cross coupled NOR gate. So, this is looks like uh, the circuit looks like uh, this. There are two NOR gates, two NOR gates, and uh, this is set button, this is reset button. Set means call button, so our flight attendant one, and this is the I mean, uh, cancel buttons. So, this is a reset one and does the circuit do the right thing? So, does the circuit do the what we want? And it is really do the work. So, it is work. So, we can store one bit here and the question is how did someone come up with these circuits? Maybe just trial or maybe little bit inside let us look at. So, this cross coupled this is a uh, two OR gates. So, one output is uh, fed to other input okay. and this guy is uh, output is fed into the input of uh, lower one this cross coupled uh, NOR gate and it is really works. So, let us look at. So, Initially, suppose uh, R is equal to 1, so R is reset. So, R is equal to 1 means uh, and S is equal to, suppose this is the cases, R is equal to 1 and S is equal to 0. It is as R is equal to 1, it ensure, it ensure Q is set to 0 because this is a NOR gate. So, whenever any input of NOR gate is 1, then its output is equal to 0. H S is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 0, its result T is equal to 1. These are exactly opposites. 
q is equal to 0, t is equal to 1. Suppose if you release, if you release the suppose if you release the means r button, okay. So, suppose r make r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0, whether this state will stay or not. So, that is the questions and when r is equal to 0 and s is equal to after we are doing first we are pressing means making r is equal to 1 and s is equal to 0 after that we are doing changing value of r, r is equal to 0 because t is equal to 1, t is equal to 1 because this is the t earlier state this is t is equal to 1 this ensure as t is equal to 1 q set to 0 earlier q was set to 0 as s is equal to 0, q is equal to 0, its result t is equal to 1. That means, this whatever the earlier values, it is continue here also. So, we made s is equal to 0, r is equal to 1 and got q value 0 and we change the value r is equal to 0, s value have not changed, but still earlier values, it is in it. So, it is did not change. That means, what about the states? it is continue. That means, after releasing R also, this older still state continue. This is one case. Let us look at another case, second part, this part. So, let us make S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0. So, whenever we make S is equal to 1, it enforces T is equal to 0. Whenever we make S is equal to 1, it enforces T is equal to 0. That means, we got t is equal to 0. Whenever t is equal to 0, it enforces q is equal to 1. So, this things got. Whenever r is equal to 0, s is equal to 1, s is equal to 1 and so set t to 0 and q is equal to 1. Okay. So, now the state is t is equal to 0 and q is equal to 1. So, whenever you release the s button, that means, you make s is equal to 0 earlier r is equal to 0, s is equal to 1, set is equal to 1, r is equal to 0. So, this is setting up the things, setting up q is equal to 1. And whenever we release the s button, now we are making s is equal to 0. Anyhow, r is equal to 0. So, from s is equal to 1 to s is equal to 0, if you look at, so in this case, as t is equal to 0, as t is equal to 0, q is set to 1 as t is equal to 0, it is ensure q set to 1. As s and q is equal to 1, it result t is equal to 0. That means, whatever the this states, it is continue as this. That means, state remains same. That means, we are able to store a bit. So, initially this is uh, 0, we made it 0 and after releasing r, we are able to keep the states and in this case, so we make q is equal to 1 and after releasing s, we are able to store the same bit, we are able to maintain the states. And in this way, this SRLH works. So, this cross coupled NOR gate, two cross coupled NOR gate, we are able to store a bit. So, this really solve our purpose and this is the waveform diagram of SRLH and this is uh, when R is equal to 1. So, this ensure Q is equal to 0 and it ensure its T is equal to 1. The same thing. So, whenever S is equal to 1, it makes T is equal to 0 and it makes Q is equal to 1. The same things whatever earlier things, the same these states continue with here and after that if you change S is equal to 1, it will change to Q is equal to 1 and if you release the things, this state will again it continues. So, functional table of SRLH if you look at, so, so set make output 1 and reset make output 0 and if you look at, so S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0, X makes output 1. So, whatever the things. So, s is equal to 1, r is equal to 2, it makes output 1 and whenever there is no change, that means, we have released after s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 2, we release s and make it s is equal to 0. 
then whatever the q this thing continues okay that means this states continues okay so after that suppose if we make r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 r is equal to 1 then it's make q is equal to 1 it's change the states and if you release after s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 we are releasing r that means we are making r is equal to 0 then this same states continues okay and state s is equal to 1 and r 1 is for forbiddance so we will discuss about this and why it should be forbidden in simple ledge and as this course is based on very lock okay so digital design with very lock so every design will try to means write code in very lock and show you the functionality so this is the very lock code for sr ledge so this have a uh, uh, two cross coupled nor gate is uh, designed like this this is q is equal to not r and qb this is r is input and s is input these two statement execute parallelly and it behaves like two cross coupled nor gate and this have uh, two input s and r and output q and q bar this is the model for sr ledge and this is a code for a test bench or how to driver code or test bench for the sr ledge so this is a module sr ledge test bench we are uh, doing uh, declaring two variables uh, register variable s and r so we can modify register to simulate inputs and this is where q and qb so we cannot modify this we will assign to our modules so sr ledge and now where this is instantiation of uh, this is uh, sr ledge this is a ledge s r q b this is you are instantiating the s r ledge and this is a initial design this is a starting up the very lock code so for web form analysis we are dumping into s r dot s r underscore ledge dot bcd files this is dump file we are doing and we can do what set of variables we want to dump but if you want to dump all variables suppose in this case s r q and q bar these are the four variables are there and in between it will create a wire in other modules so we we edge, we instantiate sr ledge modules so this have also some wires okay so sr are wires and these are output wires for all wires of test bench and also modules it's actually dumb so if you use dump wire then it will dump all variables all wire and variables and what we are doing so initially we are making s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 0 so initially we do not have what value earlier is there we do not know so let us define it may be undefined so so it is display means it is print into the means what I can say screen so whenever you execute the program so it is print to the screen and after that we are changing this is the initial change then then this is the second changes so we are doing reset r is equal to 1 then if you do r is equal to 1 then it will make q is equal to 0 this is the third one so case 3 so where s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 and this is uh, again less state so if you are making r is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 whatever set thing it will return and this is this will return the things okay and r is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 we will not use it for rsls it is not uh, recommended to use but for other uh, flip flop or other things so this r is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 it is uh, recommended but not for the rs sledge so as this course is uh, mostly now uh, we will use uh, Verilog for all the designs so how to install and run Verilog code in linux ubuntu 22.4 i am discussing it is already discussed in earlier classes but uh, still i am discussing so uh, we can use uh, in linux ubuntu linux ubuntu flavor of linux sudo apt-get install Verilog then it will install the basic iVerilog free versions and anyone can install on any systems of any system means particularly any Linux systems Ubuntu systems and sudo apt-get install gtk web gtk web is actually a software which can be used to visualize the uh, web form of any digital circuits and here so iVerilog srlash.b so this file will be uploaded to the course websites and i verilog this is compiling verilog code so we are compiling verilog code and after compilation it will generate a dot out and we are uh, executable file when we are running the a dot out after running a dot out so it will do 
it is first thing is VCD DOM info. So, we are dumping uh, all VCD files or um, what I can say web form to srlash.bcd which can be opened by GTK web and this is the what are the text output we are getting. So, s is equal to 0, r is equal to 0, initially it is q is equal to x undefined one and what are the things whatever this things will be printed this output display functions things will be printed onto the screen. This is the display functions that is uh, printing and we can see the output in a means graphical form. So, graphical forms looks appealing. So, it is actually appealing means uh, we can understand better if someone shows picturically not textually. So, in the next uh, slides if you in this case what we are, we are dumping into srlatch.bcd. So, whatever it simulates we can dump all the variables values into a value code dump file bcd files and you can see the output in graphical form. So, this is gtk web this command gtk web sr underscore latch dot bcd we can uh, see in the screen and if you look at. So, this is the sr latch test bench this is the uh, latch whatever web means uh, instantiated and these are the four uh, signals q, q naught or q q bar s and r we are uh, putting and uh, this uh, we are generating. So, initially r is equal to 0, s is equal to 0, it is make uh, q is equal to on depend because initially we do not know what is the earlier states and when r is equal to 1, s is equal to 0, it is makes q is equal to 0. So, this is this is the q, this is the q value first one is q and this makes r is equal to 1, s is equal to 0, this is r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0, it is makes q value 0. If r is equal to 0, s is equal to 1, it is makes q is equal to 1 because s is equal to 1 means we are setting, but it require r is equal to 0, then only it can sets. And if is equal to make after that you are making r is equal to 0, s is equal to 0. So, whatever the earlier things q is equal to 1, this is retaining the older states, this is q is equal to 1, it is retaining the states. In this way, this uh, RS Ledge works, and we are able to show the working of RS Ledge graphically. So, we have written the code, Verilog code, we have compiled the Verilog code, we have given the some stimulus inputs. So, particularly, stimulus input are given like this, stimulus input is given like this. So, this set of st stimulus input we are giving. So, this is case 1, case 2, case 3, case 4, these are the stimulus input we are giving, and this one is after time 1 second, this is after time 1 seconds. So, s is equal to 0, r is equal to 0, this is first 1 second, then after 1 second this is uh, resetting. So, this is 1 second, after 1 second we are giving, we are giving stimulus input at different time intervals ok. And it is uh, give the graphical inputs. And if we show the graphical things then we can understand very nicely. And this examples this solved the purpose. So, whatever we wanted to design a 1 bit storage particularly cross coupled NOR gate it solved our purpose ok. So, SR latch can't serve a 1 bit storage of flight attendant call buttons and it is really great call is equal to 1 Q or lights on Q set to 1 and lights stay on even after you release the call button ok. So, that means, if we make s is equal to 0 still light stay on. So, q stay 1 even after call is equal to 0. Cancel if you press the cancel buttons q set to 0 that means light switched off and it is really great we are able to design a 1 bit storage. And the same things can be done with not only cross coupled OR gate, but you can same things you can design with cross coupled and gate and the same thing. So, design is same only thing is uh, here earlier r was driving to q now in this cross coupled NAND gate s is driving to q. So, the difference is uh, earlier case r was driving to q and now s is driving to q this is a set reset position got changed earlier it was uh, NOR gate now it is NAND gate. In NOR base latch, R was driving Q and 
and NAND as such driving. So, this is the difference and for NOR this is the table. So, operation table. So, this is a this is a 1 1. So, it set the means uh, it is Q this is just opposite one ok because uh, here 0 0 are not using this is actually opposing things ok. And if it is uh, R is equal to 1 then uh, this is uh, it set to 1 ok. This is doing oppositely but uh, value is similar S is equal to 1 that means it is uh, making things 0. So, this is a uh, opposite thing it is doing. Opposite thing means uh, Q value is a uh, uh, S is equal to 1 it ensures Q is equal to 0 because it is doing it NAND gate. So, opposite to SR less with uh, NOR gates. So, set will do Q is equal to 0 and reset will make Q is equal to 1 and let us come back to our older things. So, example of uh, SR less bit storage. Uh, that already you have discussed SRLS is uh, able to do these things. So, what is the issue with this? Is this fine? So, we are able to store the bit in uh, this SRLS cross coupled NOR gate, but issue is uh, still there is a problem. So, what is the problem? So, the problems comes. So, when both S and R equal to 1. So, problem is when if and S and R simultaneously it is 1, then we do not know what value of Q will take. So, that is uh, unpredictable, Q is unpredictable. So, we have designed a means a very good uh, bit storage, but if someone press uh, this uh, S and R simultaneously, then it goes to unpredictable state and because it store the states, now means uh, we do not know what will happen. So, with this uh, in digital circuit it should not we should not do this kind of things, it should be predictable. So, in general whenever you press 1 1 it goes to race conditions and what value unpredictables and based on this maybe this word length some value it gets sets. So, whenever s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So, based on the word length or some issues, so who will win we do not know eventually what value of q also will be unknown and maybe some value will set based on the over length. It may oscillate for some time and it is set to something and which is unpredictable, which one want. And problem with SRLS whenever S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1. So, R tries Q is equal to what you can say 0 and S tries Q is equal, T is equal to 0 because both S and R trying Q and T, Q is equal to 0, S is trying T to be 0, but in earlier SR ledges always Q and T are opposite, but now we are saying both R and S they are trying make try to make T is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 0 which is not possible and after some times now T is equal to 0 and Q is equal to 0 it makes opposite T is equal to 1 and Q is equal to 0. this things continues and now this what I can say states oscillates when s is equal to 1 and r is equal to if whenever you press both call button and cancel button this q will oscillating that means at what time it will settle we do not know and this is uh, after some times it may settle and we do not know q may oscillates then because of one path will be slightly longer than others q eventually it will settle to 1 or 0 but we do not know any unpredictable things is uh, really dangerous and the solution to race condition is let us try to set in a such a way that let us avoid s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1. So, we can do this using this circuit suppose uh, external input is n x and y and now this x and y is getting filtered out to s and r with this circuits. So, so r is actually input to the not of x and this uh, r is equal to r is equal to y and x naught. So, that means always it will ensure s and r will not be 1 1. It will ensure because this is a filter circuit we are putting a not gate and output r input to the main ledge 
we are giving r y and x bar that means y x bar will not be same as s. So, this ensure that uh, it will not s and r will not make 1 1. So, can we ensure s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 will not happen at the same time. So, still problem exists this circuit is filtering, but uh, because of wire delay because of wire delay it may still happen problem not, not, not just one of user is pressing two button at the same times, but it can also occur even if S and R inputs come from the circuits supposedly never set S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 1 at the same time, but due to different delay of different path it may happens. So, so suppose any arbitrary circuits. So, so any arbitrary circuit suppose this one is uh, any arbitrary circuits. So, because uh, the longer path from x to r to s coach s r is equal to 1 1 and because of short time it could uh, take long enough to cause the oscillations. It is uh, because x is a shorter path suppose a longer path from x to r. So, if you look at this path is longer this path is longer to s this coach s and r for the short time and this could coach a issue. And solution to level sensitive uh, SR is add a another enable circuits the either C or enables. So, this is enabling. So, this will reduce the what you can say uh, this is your enabling. So, C will means uh, S 1 and R 1 will enable 1 over C is equal to 1 S 1 and R 1 will be enabled 1 C is equal to 1 because this need to pass through the N gate this need to pass through the N gate only let S and R change when C is equal to 0. Okay your circuit in front of SR never set to SR is equal to 1 except briefly due to the pass delay. So, change C is equal to 1 after sufficient time of S and R to be settled. When C become 1 the stable S and R value pass through to N gate SR lets SR S1 and R1 inputs and this is the means a block diagram of or symbolic diagram of uh, SR latch and ultimately level sensitive SR latch with NAND gate also we can design like this similar to the earlier one this is for this is for cross coupled NOR gate SR latch and this one is a cross coupled NAND gate SR latch this is similar to the symbols and for this this part is a uh, ensuring. So, this one is uh, ensuring 1 1 will not happen this one is stable H and this one is uh, stable and ensured values this one is stable and ensured values. So, in this case what you can say the solution is ensure stable H and store. So, ultimately what we are doing is ensuring that 1 1 will never happens S r is equal to 1 1 never happens then stabilize the states. So, this is a 1 C or enable is equal to 1 then only it can pass to the actual ledge and last one is uh, after ensuring and stabilizations we are doing storing the bit. So, this is the complete diagram of uh, what you can say ensured stable and store SR ledge. This is the proper way of designing the level sensitive SR ledge. So, still we are saying latch not flip flop ok. So, it can store bit ok without any issues, but whether it will work with actually clock domain or not still we do not know. In the next class we will discuss about the how to make flip flop or a latch or which can work with a clock ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm.